today I wanted to show you how to create a knitted double brim that you'll see is very popular this year. Um, I am using Lion Brand Color Made Easy yarn and US 10 or 6 millimeter needles. What you want to do first is cast on your required number of stitches and then just knit around in the round um, until you have your desired height. So this is going to be twice um, the height of what you want your brim to be. Usually most patterns call for about five to six inches here. Um, the number of rounds is going to vary depending on um, how thick your yarn is and what needles you're using. So um, what you'll basically do is knit in a circle for um, the number of rounds called for. And then what you wanna do is I have one stitch left in my row here. So knit this and slip the marker. And then what you'll do is you are going to fold what you've knitted in half. So your brim will look like this when you're done. What you need to do is join it. So first you're gonna fold up and you wanna be very careful to match up your stitches. Um, the first cast on stitch here Otherwise, um, it'll be crooked and it's going to look weird when you um, when you continue knitting the body. So you'll bet, want to be really careful to match up the stitches. So this stitch here is the first one where I cast on. So I'm just going to make sure as I go that it's the right one. And what you want to do is pick up the first stitch of your cast on by looking at this little bar right here. So I'm gonna pick this up with my left needle and then simply knit it together. So I'm gonna put my stitch marker back on. So just knit those two stitches together. And then what I wanna look for is the next bar in the cast on. So that's right here. So I'm gonna pick that up with my left needle and knit the stitches together. So I'm going to continue on doing this very carefully to make sure all my stitches are matched up and just continue in the round until it's all connected. Okay, so I have just a few stitches left. So normally as I go, I kind of count the horizontal bars here from the cast on and my number of stitches to make sure that I haven't lost my track and I haven't missed anything. As you go, you'll wanna be really careful to make sure you are in the right spot. So just to show you one more time, picking up the bar from the cast on with the left needle and then knitting the two stitches together. Up the bar and knit together. So I have two stitches left and then two stitches from the cast on left, so I know that I didn't miss anything. And knit these two together. I find this to be a little bit easier with the single ply yarn. This one is like a multi-ply yarn, which you can see is snagging a little bit, but um, single ply doesn't do that. So. Okay, so the last one, knit two together, and there is my double brim. As you can see, it's super thick, it's super cozy, um, and if you don't like purling, this is a great way to create a brim that doesn't roll up, but you don't have to do any purling. So at this point, I'll slip my marker and then continue on with the pattern. And I'll link some patterns below. This technique is used in my new North Loop beanie pattern, um, but I'll link a few other of my favorite double brim beanie patterns below um, if you're interested in knitting one for yourself. Thanks for watching, hope this was helpful.